Joining me from Regina is Everett Henley, Saskatchewan's Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Mr. Henley is also the province's Minister for Rural and Remote Health. Welcome, Minister. Thanks for being here. I'll get right into it. You were at that meeting yesterday in Vancouver. Why did the talks break down? Uh, thanks, Mike, for, for the opportunity to be in the program here this afternoon. You know, we, uh, we spent the past couple of days as federal, uh, well, provincial and territorial health ministers getting together uh, and unified uh, as we continue to be on this issue of the Canada Health Transfer. Uh, we know that we need to see a, a substantial long-term increase to the amount of funding that comes from the federal government towards health care. Uh, the 22% that uh, they're contributing right now just doesn't cut it anymore. Um, you know, and, and we're asking for that amount to, to increase to 35 percent and to do so for for the long term uh, we've been very clear about that as provincial and territorial ministers of health uh, and we were clear on that again uh, to, uh, this week in, in a unified ma matter uh, and in addition to that continue to to ask the federal government and ask the prime minister to sit down with canada's premiers they've been requesting that for a period of months now to be able to deal with this issue once and for all and, uh, and unfortunately it was disappointing that we haven't been able to achieve that as of yet, despite the, the, the very, very excellent work that's being done by uh, provinces and territories right across Canada. So, Minister, was there zero progress made yesterday? Well, I would say that the, we as provinces and territories continue to make significant progress when it comes to health care. Uh, we talked around the table about the significant investments that are being made right across this country by uh, provinces and territories from, from border to border to border about the investments that are being made into health care. That includes here in Saskatchewan, where we're making new investments into health human resources, we're making investments into training seed expansion, other provinces and territories are doing that as well. We're doing that despite the fact that we don't have the federal But, but I mean on the deal with the feds. Budget. Sorry, Minister, I, just, I, I hate to interrupt you, but I don't have a lot of time. I mean on the deal with the federal government. So zero progress yesterday? Not even well, any. Yeah, to be clear, there was no deal from the federal government. There was no deal pre presented to us as ministers. Okay, so also I wanted to ask you, Jean-Yves Duclos, the health minister, the federal health minister, claims that you as health ministers were given marching orders to stop the negotiations. Was that the case? Did you get an order from Premier Mo to stop talking yesterday? That, that's incorrect. You know, uh, what we did, Mike, is we were getting together for the first time in person as uh, provincial and territorial health ministers to try to advance this very important cause for Canadians right across uh, this country and including in our province here in, in Saskatchewan. And we're continuing to make these investments uh, as provinces and territories into improving health care uh, in, in Saskatchewan and right across this country. We're going to do that work and we do so and report uh, the progress we made in, in a public fashion. We're very transparent and accountable about the dollars that we spend into health care and we continue to advocate on a united front that it's time for the federal government to step up and increase their share of funding for health care to 35 percent of the CHD. But is that where we are? We're at a stalemate now? I mean I'm, I, I'm trying to get an idea because I think Canadians at home are saying the health care system is in a bad situation and they're looking at politicians fighting over money and they want to know was there any a bit of progress made yesterday? Like, what is what? the state of the actual negotiations? How far are you apart? Well, as I said, uh, provinces and territories continue to make the investments into their own health care systems uh, within their own jurisdictions. What we need to have happen now is for, as the Canada's premiers have been asking for, is for the prime minister to have a, to have a meeting, to have a sit down, to talk about the Canada Health Transfer Agreement, but not just talk about it, but commit to sustainable long-term funding for health care for provinces and territories right across this uh, right across this nation to the two to thirty-five percent. I understand that, Minister, but are you saying that it has to come with no strings attached no matter what? Because it sounds like from the federal government, the only condition that they wanted was to help build this data system for the entire country. Is that a condition that the provinces cannot meet? Well, we've been very clear about, you know, being transparent and accountable in terms of the health dollars we spend and where we spend those those dollars. I think each and every province and territory gave examples at these meetings this week of how they're doing that, how they've done that in the past and how they will continue to do that. In our province, in the case of Saskatchewan, we announced at the beginning of September, uh, as an example, $60 million for a, a new health human resources action plan here in Saskatchewan. We are already providing updates with respect to it publicly about what we're doing to achieve that. We're making investments. So then why like isn't there a deal, Center, Minister? So, the, so then why does it seem like that's such a hard thing to agree to for everybody else? Well, I, again, that's a great question for, for the federal government. We're, we're doing our part as No, no, sorry, government. Minister. In, in, in all fairness, it's a great question for all of the ministers of health in the provinces, and you're one of them. 
So if you're already doing it, and we, ha we had yesterday Adrian Dix talking about how he wouldn't have a problem with that, so then where's, where's the problem here? Well, again, we, we need the Prime Minister to come to the table with the Premiers. That's something that we've been asking for uh, for a number of months now, each and every province and territory in this country, to finalize that deal when it comes to the Canada Health Transfer, the increase in funding that's required over the long term. So is, is the problem now that you just won't sit down with Minister Duclos, that it has to be the Prime Minister with the, the Premiers, and, and that's as far as you guys will go now? Well, we had our meetings this week as uh, territorial and provincial ministers on Monday, and then with uh, uh, Minister Duclos and Minister Bennett at the at the table uh, yesterday. Um, but again, even prior to that, and we've had a number of conversations virtually. We've had these meetings before. Again, this is the first time we've had the opportunity in, in some time to have a face to face uh, with the with the federal minister uh, ministers of health. But again, I would just reiterate that the Canada's premiers have been asking for a face to face with the prime minister specifically on this issue of the Canada health transfer for months now. It's time for that to occur. I want to ask you one last question. The prime minister has called out provinces saying that they claim that they're strapped for health care cash, but at the same time, they're giving tax breaks uh, to their citizens, also the wealthy. Your premier, Scott Moe, says he's going to be giving out $500 in tax credit checks to residents this fall to help with inflation. So how can you argue with the federal government's conditions on health care money if they want to just ensure that that money is actually going into health care? Well, in that case, Mike, we're, we're doing both. We're making investments into health care, not only in this year's budget, but additional new investments, as I spoke about earlier, when it comes to health human resources, as an example here in, in Saskatchewan. But we're also trying to address some of the issues when it comes to affordability. And uh, we're fortunate we're in a position here in Saskatchewan as a result of resource revenues, which are owned by all of the residents of Saskatchewan, that we're able to make these sorts of uh, investments to help with affordability and some offset some of the rising costs that are that are involved with, with that. We're trying to 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 make sure that we're uh, in, in helping people in both of these areas when it comes to affordability and when it comes to health care. And uh, as I said off the top, it's important that we have the federal government uh, now doing uh, their fair share of this as well. Saskatchewan's Minister of Mental Health and Addictions, Everett Hindley, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.